Hello everyone, thanks for joining me for today's live workout. We are going to train 30 minutes of booty and it's a no squat, no jump and no lunge edition. So it's knee friendly and it's also with a big focus on the booty. And if anything, we're also going to train hamstrings and outer thighs, but I didn't include anything for the front of our legs. So that's going to burn only in the back of our legs. For the first part, I'm gonna use a booty band. I have an extra heavy one right here, and I would encourage you to also use a booty band for the first part, but if you don't have one, that's no problem. You can also do it without. The second part is gonna be without the booty band. We have a one minute break in between, and as always, you can find free workout plans on my Instagram channel. They are saved in the highlight section in the workout plans. Let's get right into it and put the booty band around our thigh. Yes. I put it right here, so not too far up the thigh, like right above the knee. As always, we're gonna do 30 seconds for each exercise and the first one is gonna be down on our belly. Start the timer, Dennis. <laughs> Oh, so the first go. exercise is a one side leg lift. So one leg stays on the ground and I'm lifting my right leg up and down. Always keeping the tension in my booty and trying to lift the leg as high as possible. Squeezing one butt cheek at the top, holding the tension on the way down, squeezing even more on the way up. Holding the tension and up. Holding the tension and up. In and out. So we hold the leg at the top and then we bring it to one side and we bring it back to the middle. We bring it out to the side and back to the middle. So we are only working it towards, for example, the right, if you lift the right leg to work the abductors. That's the side part of your booty. Just like that. And we switch the legs. Start lifting the other leg, squeezing the butt at the top, holding the tension on the way down, squeezing even more on the way up, and holding the tension on the way down. So never relax your butt cheeks. Always have them under tension. But just increasing the burn, increasing the squeezing, increasing the engagement on the way up. Very good. We stay at the upper point and we go in and out. So I move my leg to the left side and to the middle. To the left side and to the middle. Very good. Hold the tension at the top and add the in and out. Very good, squeeze your butt cheeks. Slowly warm them up. Okay, come into a tabletop position like this. And now we lift one leg like a dog. I always say the same thing, like a dog trying to pee on a tree. And then again, squeeze your booty at the highest point. This again works the side part of our booty. I feel like that makes the butt look rounder. And now we do little pulses at the top. So you don't lower the leg all the way anymore. You just pulse, pulse, pulse as high as you can. For this exercise, the booty band makes it way harder. But if you don't have a booty band, I want you to focus even more on squeezing the butt cheeks. I can honestly also feel a burn in the other one. Switch legs and lift the leg and focus on squeezing when you hit the upper point. Squeeze. Lift the leg and squeeze. It's really important if we train the booty without any additional weight that we have a very good mind-muscle connection 
to still make the workout extra efficient. Okay, 30 seconds of pulses. Hold it, guys. Hold That's burning for me. Oh my god. And pulse. Don't forget to lift the leg as hard as you can. Okay, we sit on our bunk. We lift the butt a little higher in the air and then we open and close the legs. I have my feet quite wide apart. They are definitely wider than hip width and also wider than shoulder width apart. Because otherwise, it's not burning enough. We add a glute bridge, come down, push our knees a little more out and the glute bridge again. So we have like the leg opener movement and then the glute bridge. Leg opener, glute bridge. Leg opener, glute bridge. And always squeeze the butt as hard as you can on the way up. Squeeze. Okay, come into a normal glute bridge position. Feet are shoulder right apart. And we do little pulses at the top. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Squeeze your butt cheeks as hard as you can and do very tiny movements at the highest point. Are you good? Now we hold at the highest point and we open, we move the knees outwards and inwards. So we have the abductor movement in a group bridge position. Keep your hip up, don't lower it down. I know for this movement, you always tend to lower the hips, but I want you to stay at the highest point possible. That's gonna be hard. Open your legs very wide, that's hard by itself. And then do little pulses at the top. Oof, that's burning. Because you force the sides of your booty to work even harder because we have to work against the, resist uh, the resistance of the booty band. And then we have the pulses. Close your legs as close as you can. And you do pulses or no pulses. Pulses. Even more pulses. My feet are directly next to each other. And I pulse and I have a little parallel. <laughs> I cannot feel it. <laughs> so I, all my weight is on my heels. Now I open my legs a little more again to hip width apart and we do the abductor movement. Always remember, the weight is on the heels. I don't have any weight on my toes. And we have that imaginary piece of paper between our butt cheeks that we always try to keep in there. Just hold at the top. And now I can, you have time now to really think about that piece of paper between your butt cheeks. Squeeze it as hard as you can. Hips go as high as you can. Your butt cheeks are so close to each other. Don't release the tension. Squeeze more. And squeeze even more. Lift your hip a little higher and squeeze. Very good. Let's go down the hard belly again. And we lift one leg. First movement again. Squeeze the glute, hold the tension, lift and squeeze. Hold the tension, lift and squeeze. Hold the tension, lift and squeeze. 
Think about your glutes, lifting the leg up and down. And we add the in and out. Out and in. Out and in. Very good. Lift your leg up as high as you can and then move it to the side and to the middle. Move it to the side and to the middle. Very good. Other side. We lift the leg, squeezing the butt cheek, kicking your foot up to the floor. Up to the floor. Squeeze, squeeze. Focus on your booty. Don't think about something else. Think about your muscles. In and out. In and out. Move your leg to the side and to the middle. To the side and to the middle. And I always have my leg up high in the air. I don't lower it to the floor. Out. Lift both legs like this and then we straighten them still up in the air and we bend. Straighten and bend. Watch my knees. My knees are up in the air. My legs are not down on the floor. I'm only touching the floor with my hip and I squeeze my booty as hard as I can for every single second of this movement. That's gonna be fun as well. We open and close our knees. So we move the knees outwards and we bring them in again. Out and in. Out and in. At the same time, kick your feet up to the ceiling as high as you can. Everything is up in the air. Oh, it's burning. Okay, and behold. For, those, for the next 30 seconds, I want you to lift your legs as high up as you can and hold the tension in your glutes. When you start to lower, bring them up again, hold as high as you can. We don't have much time left. but it's gonna be hard. The next workout is gonna start in a standing position. If you generally have trouble with balance, you can also take a chair or move onto the wall for balance. Because we are going to start... Was that one minute? No, okay, we have more, we have 30 more seconds of rest. I was just wondering. Wow. Because the first exercise is gonna be something like that. And if you have trouble with balance, just take something to hold on to. Get ready, slowly. Oh, hello. <laughs> okay, we are starting with straight leg kickbacks. No problem at all. We're gonna continue with I know for this one it's a little harder to actually focus on the muscle 
but if you really think about it, especially at the top squeezing it, you can still feel it working. And this pulses. I bend my knee and I do little pulses. Only at the top. So remember the fire hydrant that we were doing earlier? That's basically the same, but in a standing position. Very good. Don't quit. We switch sides. You're kicking back with the left leg. Leg is straight. Squeezing the butt cheek every time you kick up and squeeze and squeeze. Holding the tension on the way down, squeezing even more on the way up. Very good. Straight to the side. I'm also holding onto the wall now. And Kick it out to the side. Squeeze the side part of your leg every time you kick. You really have to focus for this one. I can actually also feel my right butt cheek burning. Going down on your elbows, that's fine. Just make sure that your leg and your butt is up high in the air. Very good. Now we add a handstand though. So we stay at the highest point and then we bend our knee bringing our foot inwards and then straightening it out again. And for this whole movement, I want you to concentrate and to make sure that you keep your leg up high in the air. You don't lower it to the floor. You keep it up. That's a good one. Spider crunch, down kick. I love it. Spider crunch, down kick. So we keep the leg up in the air all the time, but we just move the knee from elbow up to the floor and down the leg. Elbow up to the ceiling. Okay, we take the same leg, still the right one, so you kind of have to twist in a weird movements, but I want you to use the same leg and we do an outer thigh lift. And for this one, 
really focus on keeping the tension all the time. So I really... Okay. Now we draw little circles. So if you are able to squeeze your muscles just by standing still basically. So I really squeeze my outer thigh, I squeeze my butt and I squeeze everything although the movement is very slow but I try to contract every muscle so they are very hard. And that's when it's efficient. And now we do the repulsive at the top. I can definitely feel it over here. If you feel comfortable, do the pulses a little quicker. Very good. Only a tiny movement, but do it very controlled. Behold. I also try to push in my butt a tiny bit. So I'm not sticking it out to the back, but I'm rather tucking my pelvis inwards, holding the leg, keeping the tension in the outer thigh, and hold. Okay. We come back into a tabletop position and we do the same thing on the other side. So we kick the heel to the ceiling, hold the tension on the way down, squeeze the butt cheek even down there, and then squeeze even the more on the way up. Hold the tension, kick. Hold the tension, squeeze. Hold the tension, make it burn. <laughs> extend the leg and do straight leg pulses. We only stay at the, I would say, at the highest third of the movement. So there is nothing happening down towards the floor. We keep it up. Our hip is neutral. Don't twist your hip. Keep the core strong. The back is in one line. And now we hold. Let's hold this leg up in the air, squeezing the glutes, making sure they are rock solid. Squeeze the glutes even more. I can also feel my inner thigh working. Very good. Hold. We add the hamstring. And curl and extend. Make sure that you don't lower your leg. Hold it at the top. You're gonna be so proud of yourself when you were holding your leg at the top all the way through this workout. I know it's hard. Yeah, my favorite one. We add a spider crunch. We kick up to the ceiling. Spider crunch up to the ceiling. Don't release the tension. This is even working a little bit of our, of our abs. Very good. To the elbow, up to the ceiling. To the elbow, up to the ceiling. Elbow in. Okay, same leg. I'll use that a bit. Okay, we start to concentrate about the outer thigh lift. So you push your butt inwards, having the leg totally straight, keeping the tension in the outer thigh, trying to squeeze the butt cheek at the same time. Circles. Drawing those circles. I'm still pushing my butt like a tiny bit forward, so I still keep the tension in there. And we circle. Only tiny circles at the top of the movement. 
feeling like a ballet dancer and be gracious we move over to the pulses you can start slow but as soon as you feel comfortable we bring up the tempo and we pulse a little bit quicker Oof. i'm not sure if i'm pulsing quicker but i'm feeling like i'm giving it my all and pulsing as quickly as i possibly can i feel so slow Ah, and we hold. Push your hip forward, butt cheek is strong, butt is burning, outer thigh is engaged, leg is up high in the air, and we hold. Squeeze and hold. We move over and lay down on our back. We do one leg pushes. I am having my left leg on the floor. Going up and down, up and down. Pushing through my heel. No weight on my toes. You know how it goes. Squeezing the butt cheek. Holding the tension on the way down. Squeezing on the way up. Hold. That always sounds so easy. Just hold. But it's actually very hard right now. We squeeze it. We hold at the highest point. Don't lower your hip. Don't lower your leg. If you are really struggling right now, you can also bring up your leg like this and lay it down on your knee. But I feel like stretching it out is harder. Switch sides. And up. And up. And up. If you are having a hard time with the glute bridges, you can also perform them, perform them on both feet. So you just do a regular glute bridge instead. But the one that glute bridge is intense, but efficient. And we hold. Hold for 30 seconds, it's almost over. But it's learn to enjoy the work. I love the work. So we lift the hip up as high as we can. We hold the tension, making the butt cheek burn. Don't release, don't lower. Hold. Very good. We come into a high glute bridge. So we are on our feet and on our palms and we do high position. Holding the tension in our butt on the way down, squeezing it even more. So I'm not only lowering the hip, but I'm still kind of squeezing my butt cheeks every time I lower them. I never let go of that piece of paper. And now we pause. Squeeze. Squeeze and squeeze. Make those butt cheeks burn. Very good. Tiny pulses at the top of the movement. Very good. Hold the tension. I'm starting to sweat now. And we hold. I think that's the last one. We hold for 30 more seconds. Lift your hip up as high as you can. Stick with me for those last 30 seconds. Squeeze the butt cheek. Think about the paper. Everything is engaged. Squeeze even more. The last seconds, squeeze more. Lift up higher, squeeze. And release. Very good. Thanks for joining me. Kiss to the camera. Thanks for joining me for today's workout. I hope you enjoyed it. My butt is definitely burning. I'm sweating a tiny bit. <laughs> and I hope your butt is burning too. 
I couldn't feel anything in the front of my legs, which I know is always a big request to have something that is not for the thighs and more for the booty. So I hope you enjoyed this, this routine and I wish you a wonderful rest of the day. Thank you. Let's go into five chat.